In October 2022, keyword crabby. Well, this is not the grumpy that I intended to bring you, me. <laughs> I hope it is beneficial to you though. I went when I was 32 on a trip with several dozen artists. We hired a tutor, we hired a bus and a guide and we went off into the wilderness. We went to the Kurong and we were faced with extreme conditions. It was summer. Our teacher was a crabby man and I've forgotten his name but he left a lifetime impact on me. I'm 76 and I remember this occasion from when I was 32. 42 degrees, ferocious winds. It was hostile. The wind was blowing off the salt lake so the sand was hitting our eyes and there we are with our canvases that we could hardly hold against the wind and we're supposed to sit there and paint well it was impossible it was i rugged myself up in protective clothing and i walked around the lake and i looked at it, tried to keep in the shade wherever there was a tree and i looked at the beautiful pristine wilderness i found it awe inspiring there was no way i could have sat there and that or stood there in those conditions and controlled a painting board to have painted but i enjoyed the experience the other artists and we were professional artists we weren't students although we took an art tutor with us they huddled into tight little corners as far away from the wind as they could get and they sat down low and they used small boards eight by tens and they clutched those boards tight and they did paintings very small paintings that they could clutch those boards against the wind the main tutor he came out of the truck with huge ropes and a big easel how could you keep a big easel up in this strong wind so he had all these tackle gear and he headed off into the bush by himself and he was quite angry at us that we weren't going to put our big easels up and stand there with big boards and try to paint this scene with the blast of wind coming at us grumpy old man this is what the prompt is grumpy so I did the walk around the lake which took a long time came back after two hours and I gasped in awe at what the other artists had produced. There they are, sitting down low, and they had painted the froth coming off the lake and the grasses, and they all had the most exquisitely beautiful small paintings, every one of them a little masterpiece. I was just blown away with what they had done. But then grumpy old man, our art teacher, came out of the bushes with his timber easel over his shoulder and the guy ropes and his painting and he put the easel and everything away in the truck holding the painting he turned it around to face us and we just gasped he had painted not just what you see but what you feel what you hear what you're experiencing the tea trees they were angry they were stretching their limbs out like they were it was like a nightmare in a way but it was beautiful it was awesome he had captured the scene the others had painted some pretty little sweet painting it wasn't a pretty sweet experience i thought i'd done the best by experiencing the nature i thought the artists had done a brilliant job but no he captured the scene every Every place that we went, whatever it was that we looked at, he found the real experience. He taught me that when you paint, you paint what you see, what you hear, what you smell, what you touch. It's like a writer. When you're describing a scene, you use all the senses. And that is what I learned from Grumpy Old Man. And... I had intended to sit down and with this paint, um, this ink, wild chestnut, yamaguri, a uh, beautiful ink, most loved ink, I, I intended to do a gnarled old tree and I did it. You know what, my camera failed. It's always the way. And so, <laughs> it's not on the disc. So you get me, <laughs> grumpy old lady, if you like, telling you this story 
of a grumpy old man art teacher who I don't even remember his name but I remember his lesson and I remembered his lesson for life and I hope it was worth telling you that some of you will get a lot from it. So do creative people of all kinds have a happy grubby <laughs> Inktober learning day and thank you so much for supporting my channel. I can't tell you how much pleasure it's giving me to see my fledgling channel grow.